Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use all the writing tools, as well as how to duplicate and copy paste pages and good notes so you can make your digital planner anything you want it to be. Today I'll be using my 2021 Neutral Stars Planner, but you can use these tools with any PDF file or notebook you create in GoodNotes. First things first, you'll notice that there are tabs on the sides of the planner and buttons running along the bottom. These tabs and buttons are all clickable. To use the tabs and buttons, you'll need to make sure your annotation tools are off. Just click this button in the top right hand corner of the screen and your top bar will go from blue to gray. Now you know your tools are off and the tabs and buttons will be fully functional. If you have your tools on, they won't be clickable. Great, now that we've covered that, let's go through all those annotation tools and how you can customize them to get the most out of your digital planning experience. First up, we have our pen tool. In this tool, you have three pen styles available to use, a fountain pen, a ball pen, and a brush pen. You can use the settings to adjust tip sharpness and pressure sensitivity with your pens right in the GoodNotes app. There are additional settings in the pen tool like snap to other shapes, which I always keep on. This means you can draw a shape and simply press and hold to create a perfect version of that shape. This is a new feature and I absolutely love it. Next up, you have a fill color option. I love this one too. You can draw a shape and GoodNotes will automatically fill it with a transparent version of whatever pen color you're using. Next up, you have your stylus and palm rejection settings. I keep single finger panning on so I can swipe between pages easily, and my palm rejection sensitivity on high so I can write like usual without worrying about my palm resting on the screen. You can also adjust your writing posture to how you write. Once you have your settings adjusted how you like, the pen tool is very simple to use. You can select a color you like, set three you use most often, as well as adjust thickness here. You can create a pen color palette you enjoy right in the app so it's easy to switch between colors. Simply click custom and you can select any color in the color graph or click on the wheel to pick colors that way. My favorite way to add colors are to use hex codes. My planner comes with a set of matching presets you can use to customize your planner. Simply navigate to your colors through the index button, then press and hold over your color code and select copy. Now you can go to your custom pen color, paste, and click add to presets. Tip when you're doing this in a landscape planner like I am, shrink your on-screen keyboard to access the color palette easier. Simply pinch over your keyboard to do this. You can also adjust your pen thickness here and customize the default settings for a fine pen, a medium point pen, and a thick pen. Simply double tap to adjust the settings. Next up, you have your eraser tool. You can adjust the area covered by your eraser here. Inside your eraser has some settings too. If you have erase entire stroke on, the eraser will erase everything you've written or drawn before picking up your pen. If it's off, it'll erase the area the eraser tool is touching. There's also an option to erase your highlighter only. This is great to use if you're taking notes and highlighting. You can turn this on and remove your highlighter marks without messing up anything you've typed or written with the pen tool. An auto select just means that the eraser will automatically go back to your pen tool after you use the eraser. I generally keep this off. Next we have our highlighter tool. This is very similar in use to the pen tool. You can create presets and select thicknesses on the right. Within the highlighter settings you can turn on draw in a straight line and it'll snap your lines to straight ones. Next up is the shape tool. Now that the shape tools are incorporated right into the pen and highlighter tools, you probably don't need to mess with the settings in here too much. Now let's look at our lasso tool, which is really my favorite tool in GoodNotes. You can use the lasso tool to move around anything that you add into a document. Within the tool, you can choose to have handwriting, images, and text boxes selected, and you can adjust these settings to grab exactly what you'd like to. So let's say you want to add a digital sticker. You would make sure your images are on and navigate to the sticker book or sheet you need, lasso the sticker, hold down and select copy, and then navigate to your page and select paste. Now let's say you write on it with your pen, but then decide you'd like to move your writing without moving the sticker. Double tap your lasso tool to access those settings, turn off images, and now when you select the area, you'll just grab the handwriting. You can do this with text boxes as well, and its uses are endless.
Now we have our image tool. You can use this to access photos in your camera roll or your iCloud drive. It's also a way you can select and move stickers in a spread. If you have images selected, you can tap on any sticker or added image on a page and move it that way. And then we have a camera tool. I don't really use this too much, but I could see it being useful in a classroom setting if you're wanting to take a picture of the board or a page and insert it into your notes. The last tool we're gonna look at is our text box. You can use this to type in your planner. You can select a font, adjust your text alignment, as well as your line spacing. You can select colors and use custom hex codes as well. But that isn't my preference for changing colors with typed text. I'll show you how I prefer to do that in a second. You can also select a text box style, so whether that's transparent or you would like a box and color around your text, you can click on advanced to change your background color, border color, and a bunch of other things. It's a fun place to mess with settings. You might have to mess around to find your perfect settings, but once you do, you can set it as your default settings here, and then every time you open your text tool, it will use these settings. I prefer to change colors of type text with my lasso tool. Just make sure your text is selected, and then lasso your text, and select color, It'll bring up all of your preset pen colors. I just think this is a quicker way to adjust text colors. You can do this when you're writing with your pen as well. Before we go, I'm gonna show you quickly how to duplicate pages and copy paste them anywhere in the planner. Okay, so to duplicate, go to the page that you want duplicated and click on the plus page icon in the top right hand of the screen. Here you can adjust if you'd like the page added before or after the current page and then press current template. You can do this as many times as you would like. Finally, let's say you want to add a specific layout behind the extra tabs. Navigate to the layout that you want. I'm going to use meeting notes. Now click on the three dots in the top right hand of the screen and select copy page. Now navigate to the page you want that to go behind. I'm selecting this tab. Click on the thumbnail icon in the top left hand of the screen. The page will be outlined in blue. Click on the downward arrow for that page. Select add page after and then select paste page. And there you have a copy and pasted page. This can be used endlessly to customize your planner or notebook into exactly what you want it to be. Have any other questions about GoodNotes or digital planning? Let me know below. Before you go, I'm running a GoodNotes and planner giveaway this week on my Instagram account. You can check it out at Paper and Roses to enter. And finally, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.